When working with a new MetaHuman, I recommend you always test out the face by going through the entire face control rig board. This process was important, as Enzo's face textures were created and customized by Thomas Sackman, and this allowed us to see the face in motion and decide if any modifications needed to be made to the textures or in the creator. I do all of the facial motion cleanup and fine tuning with control rig in Unreal, so this helps me to see what each of the controls does and makes it easier for me to locate them when making adjustments to specific areas of the face, especially when working with dialogue. I have a video going over the entire face control rig board and have organized it with timestamps so that if you want to test out your metahuman face or locate certain controls, you can find them easily. I also recommend this video featuring Adam Walton from Cubic Motion, shared by Unreal Engine that goes over the face control rig board. In order to access the face control rig board, all I do is add my metahuman to an empty sequencer. And as you notice by default, the face control rig appears. I change my gizmo to local space and turn snapping off. I then select a control, make a key by hitting the letter S, move the control, make another key, move it again, and then I reset it. I also like to label all of my controls in order to keep things organized. By pressing the letter M, a marker appears. All you do is right click on it, give it a name and a color. I find using markers extremely helpful during the fine tuning process. I also set up cameras in different angles so that I can focus on certain areas of the face during this process. As this process gives you an idea of what your character looks like when certain controls are activated, what adjustments you might want to make, and to spot if anything needs to be fixed. It was during this process that I was able to see that the eyelashes were not fitting correctly to the eyes. I was able to go back into the creator and reduce the region influence of this area. Since I was going to be using the neck controls for breathing, swallowing, adding tension during neck movement, I found that the neck looked much more natural when reducing the influence of this area as well. Since the release of the Mesh to Meta plugin, one of the new things we now have is the Facial Pose Library. To demonstrate how to access these, with a new sequence open and the face control rig selected, go to the Animation tab and select Poses. You will see a Control Rig Pose tab show up. Over here, you are going to right click and select Add Existing Folder to View. And the folder we're looking for is located in the MetaHuman Common Common Pose Library Face folder. We now can see that we have access to a variety of expressions. And also a combination of these expressions. And we also have Vizemes. Vizemes are the way various shapes the mouth looks like it's making when creating different sounds during speech. So let's go ahead and select this expression. In Sequencer, I'm going to make a neutral key first. I'm going to move 30 frames over, and with the expression selected, I'm going to select Controls, and then I'm going to select Key, and then paste the pose. We can automatically see this expression and also what controls are being used for this. I'm going to go over here and reset this by hitting Control Shift G and making a key with a neutral pose. I'm going to try a combination expression now. In Sequencer, I'm going to move this over and now I can paste the pose. This is very useful and we can even see what neck controls are being used for certain expressions. I am going to move this again, hit Control shift g to reset. Let's try a Vizim now. Let's try this one. Since I already have the control selected, I'm just going to select Paste the Pose. And there it is. Another great feature is that I can select this Capture Thumbnail. And if I press this, now we can see our own MetaHuman in the thumbnail. I've gone ahead and keyframed all of these and labeled them and I use these as references if I need them. This process of testing the face with the face control rig is a great way to see how the face looks in motion. And you will be able to see whether you wanna make changes to things such as the wrinkle maps, the shape of the teeth, adjust the region influence in certain areas, 
and this was useful for Thomas and I, as this allowed us to make decisions about modifications before finalizing the face textures. In the next video, I go over the body control rig, including showing some of the new foot controls that have been added.